This institution is really unique as it brings together parliamentarians from all 28 member states of NATO and associates. The most important goals of NATO Parliamentary Assembly is the discussion of security and defense issues. The Parliamentary Assembly do represent the liaison between us and the national parliament and the domestic people of our nation. So it is an essential role. The aim of the NATO parliamentarians is um, to broaden peace and stability. We see that not so far away these kind of values are still not achieved. We want to give our expertise and help and support to these countries. I think the shared values in the NATO PA certainly um, goes to the heart of democracy and of freedom and of sustaining and expanding uh, the opportunities for countries uh, to have peoples that are free. NATO is a community of values, freedom, democracy, the rule of law, and it is the role of parliamentarians to keep these values a strong foundation of uh, our alliance. I recognize some familiar faces in the audience, colleagues I've known for many years and many new faces. What we try is to get a better mutual understanding of each other, of our positions, of our national politics, and maybe to lead it together to find a consensus here. These discussions help us to build mutual understanding with people from former Yugoslav countries, from some other countries in the region, and we are moving towards a reconciliation process even faster, uh, towards building compromises, uh, and this is of indispensable value for all of us. It's really hard to picturize the situation in Afghanistan. We try to, uh, to give uh, a good details of the Afghan situation, and that really helped the, the MPs from a different country, member states of the NATO. Uh, same as like if I go to Afghanistan and return from this assembly, then we share these experience with the Afghan parliamentarian. проходили Югославию, Ирак, Южную Осетию, и есть всегда однозначно воспринимались и позиции Российской Федерации, и наши действия на международной арене. Но мы всегда придерживались золотого правила, что лучше друг с другом разговаривать, друг друга слышать, отстаивать свою позицию, чем не встречаться, не разговаривать, а значит не знать эту позицию. This is a, a great deliberative body to reflect on, you know, why there are conflicts, how we're handling conflicts, and how to avoid them. This kind of uh, assembly gives us possibility to solve problems without weapons. There is no other way than cooperation. Cooperation is no, there is no alternative. It is a necessity to sit together and to plan for a peaceful future. That is our common interest.